here today and I want to give you guys a tutorial on how to fix an OBS Studio issue I've encountered. Um, this is a pretty specific issue. It relates to Windows 10 updates. Uh, it's after the anniversary patch, so it's not necessarily the anniversary patch, but an update above that. So I was using the anniversary patch or the anniversary update and OBS just fine. And then a few days ago I couldn't even stream. I couldn't do anything and it's just really torn me to shreds because I I couldn't record a video for longer than 15 minutes sometimes. I had finished a Subnautica video. I got 28 minutes into a 30 minute video and it just stopped working and I couldn't recover the video. I'd lost everything. I started I started that same episode four times and it's very frustrating and I could not figure out for the life of me what the problem was. And uh, I guess I just want to show you the fix I, I found on the forums when I asked for help. And what they told me on the forums was you got a few options and the option I chose was to remove an update. And uh, the, this, I best first describe the problem I'm having. So when I'm in the preview, the recording phase or the streaming phase, after so long, the screen will stop, my OBS will stop, but my audio still moves. And when I click stop recording, stop streaming, it'll just say stopping streaming, stopping recording. And it won't save the file. And it and the stream will eventually just cut out way before that. So once the error occurs, the stream's out. And you can close OBS, but it doesn't close all the way. Like if you hit the X in the top right, it'll close out the program visually, but it's still running in the background and you have to force close it. Otherwise, if you open up another one, it'll just bog down your computer because you'll end up having like four separate OBSs running. And it was consistent and I was losing my mind because I could not figure it out. And then this guy told me, try removing this patch. And ever since then, it's worked. So I'm going to show you how to remove it. So the easiest way is to open the start bar. Let's go down here. And I'm going to click Ask Me Anything. Type in Settings. And it brings you to this window. And from here, you're going to click on Update and Security. And from Update and Security, it puts you in Windows Update to Update History. We're going to select Update History. This is the update that's destroyed me. Um, I don't have it installed right now. I'm just going to show you a picture once we get there. But I updated on the 18th, and ever since then, I haven't been able to record anything properly. Normally I fix a problem within a day, but during the week I don't record and I don't stream, so I didn't notice it until last weekend. Yeah, something like that. Anyways, this is the update that has been causing me problems. KB3189866. And it's pretty easy. All you do is go uninstall updates and it brings you this menu. It's right above this option. You don't see it because I already uninstalled it, but I do have a photo. So here's that photo. Right here, security update from Microsoft Windows, KV3189866. And this is me removing it. And after removal, I ran for about half an hour and 45 minutes, and I was fine. And normally it cuts out after 20 minutes. So that's what you do is you get to the menu, and once you're at the menu, you right-click it, and you hit uninstall. I don't think you can uninstall this one. Yeah. So remember, just uninstall the KV3189866. I'm going to drop a link below to the form, the guy who helped me out. Uh, that way you can see what else he says. There's a bit of debate, but after I uh, uninstalled it, it worked great. So I, I hope this helps you guys, and I hope it provides some insight. I couldn't tell you why it did that. I'm not too in-depth on the knowledge, but uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Dance with me one more time.